How you doing? Aaron Reed, author of The Supernatural Lifestyle. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit in this short video about uh, how important it is to have post-workout sugars. Why, why that's important. You know, so many times people think, you want me to have sugar post-workout after I just worked my ass off in the gym? You want me to throw all that out the window and, and eat sugar? Here's the thing. So, you know, the body has different needs at different times, you know, and there's a lot of processes that are, that are going on all the time, but then when you start training, it engages different processes. So, when you're working out, and if you work out really hard with a lot of intensity, and you deplete yourself, what will happen is you get to a point where your body can no longer perform, and so your body will release a lot of cortisol. Cortisol is your body's natural uh, defense to, to kind of shut down everything it can to deteriorate tissues to produce energy to keep going. So your body is just trying to keep going. So um, what happens is if, if you time it right and you're working your butt off and you're trying to grow muscle, um, when you've been working out and you're depleted, your body is, you know, releasing cortisol and the best way to stop cortisol is to trigger an insulin spike because as soon as you get an insulin spike your body stops burning and starts storing insulin is the storing hormone so that's how that works so basically you can go right away from burning 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 to bring some sugars in boom next thing you know now your body's storing and this is, a, this is a good time to do storing because if you worked out right, you worked out hard enough, your body is going to be depleted greatly of glycogen, which is stored sugar. And so all the body wants to do is replenish that. And so when your body is replenishing in that, the best way to do it is via an insulin spike. So when you have an insulin spike, insulin carries sugar uh, to the cells and transport it. So it'll do a really good job of this because basically if you're depleted, you've created a strong insulin sensitive environment. Okay. And so by bringing in post-workout sugars, you give your body exactly what it needs. And so your muscles are going to absorb all that sugar. So the sugar that you're eating is not going to just float around and be stored as fat. No, no, no. It's going to go right to your muscle tissue, right, right where you worked out, and replenish that and begin an anabolic process where your muscles are actually going to recuperate and rebuild and grow, which stimulates your metabolism. So on the back end, you're going to burn calories. So don't worry so much about oh I, you know I don't want to have these uh, you know I don't want to have sugar post workout or sugar at all in my day. It's it's vitally important for your muscle tissue. Otherwise you're gonna lose all your muscle, and then you're just gonna get skinnier and smaller and have no shape and look like crap. You know, I mean <clears throat> that look was cool in the '80s I think, maybe even the '90s. All right, but strong is the new skinny. So you know. Have some sugar post workout, you know, build a little muscle, all right? And, uh, you know, don't be scared, okay? You heard it first, right here. <laughs> I'm Aaron Reed, helping you reach your goals one meal at a time. Thanks.